Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So as usual, my watercolor videos will have a speed paint or time-lapse version of this in the description. So if you're not interested in seeing kind of like real time or a longer watercoloring video, you can check out the video down in the description. And yeah, so today I am going to be painting my Genshin Impact team as like these little tiny portraits. Now to preface this video about a few things. So one is that I'm kind of like doing the voiceover at a weird time. It's like 12 a.m. and I'm doing this in like the dead of night. So I'm talking a little bit more quietly and I'm like physically holding my microphone closer to myself. Um, so please bear with me if this audio sounds pretty shoddy. Um, but Yes, so the first two portraits I'm going to be doing is of Kaya and Fischl, and I think they turn out pretty okay. I think Fischl turned out pretty cute, and Kaya was like my favorite out of all the portraits. I really, 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 really butcher Zhongli um, entirely. I don't know why I painted him the way I did, but it just looks bad. But I decided to post this anyways, because I might as well just post mistakes anyways. So... Yeah, and Barbara came out a little bit more derpy than planned. I think it's definitely her eyes and a little bit of her, like, her smile, along with, like, her little cheeks and stuff. Everything just, like, there's a lot of things off. And part of it's because, um, I did Fischl, Zhongli, and Barbara in one sitting, which was probably a bad idea. Um, I did Kaya a few nights ago, so I think that's why his turned out the best. Like, my entire focus was just on Kaya's painting. Um... And in the beginning for Fischl, like hers was a little bit worse than Kaya in my opinion, but I was still very focused when working on Fischl, so that was, like hers came out okay, so I'm, I'm fine with those. Um, so for these paintings, I am working on the Strathmore 400 series paper, and I am working on a, I think it's 3 by 6 inches, is this kind of like scrap? Um, watercolor paper that I had lying around and I decided to trim them to be kind of like equal sizes but like four of them and I did the math and I the perfect size is three by six so that's what I'm doing they're kind of like this weird bookmark size it's so like a little bit too wide to be a bookmark but I thought it'd be fun to do like little mini portraits just because like I haven't been painting a whole lot and I feel like you can probably tell so yeah but just like I said at the beginning of the video is that if you definitely prefer seeing the entire process at like max speed, um, you can definitely check out the description for that video. It will be an unlisted video. I usually don't want to post the sped up version and the longer version at the same time, like as public videos. So I will make the time lapse version unlisted. So you can view that if you would like to. Um, but this will be mostly real time. If anything, yeah, all of it's real time for this one. And I cut out quite a bit of footage. So yeah, definitely check out the other video if you do prefer seeing the whole process. Um, I had a lot of fun working on Kaya's hair for a lot of this. I, I think just in general, I had a lot of fun working on Kaya. So the reason why I wanted to do this little series of paintings was because one i am still in a very big genshin impact like phase right now like it won't, it won't go away <laughs> i really like the game a lot and i really like the characters and like character design and stuff so i'm having a lot of fun doing a lot of fan art of them um sorry that i have been doing not as much as oc stuff or 17 stuff and i'm being like mostly been doing genshin impact stuff but hopefully that's okay um but uh, I guess like I really wanted to paint something and it's been a while and yeah, like like I said before, the scrap pieces of paper, I decided to cut them down and I really wanted to do something like this. I feel like I didn't do Zhongli and Barbara Justice, so I feel like I wanted to make a, another attempt of my team, but not like these portraits and not in watercolor. I would like to do like a more finished chibi drawing. Of my entire team digitally i think it'd be very cute because it would be fun to do like the effects and stuff for their different elements and kind of pose them in a way that kind of looks like they're kind of like this weird clustered team kind of pose fighting pose i think it'd be fun 
Um, so as you can see, I was a little bit impatient and decided to do the line art almost right away for Kaya's like skin portion just because I think I wasn't sure if I was going to use this brush which is the Artist Loft Necessities I think number 8 round script brush and I usually like I used to use this a lot for like line work as well as like just normal painting and it's great for detailing and because I haven't been painting a whole lot I feel like my hands are just been I don't know, not used to holding the brush in a certain way anymore or being... I just, I'm just not as careful because I'm not taking the time to actually paint which I'm going to hopefully curve that just because there is a large venti painting that I would like to do and it requires me to actually do line art before um, painting which is going to be a little bit interesting because if you see pretty much any of my processes now except for like a lot of my cleaner work I do line work and like line art in general after I've done coloring or like it's kind of like my final step so yeah so hopefully I can do venti's well if you've seen like my instagram stories you probably know what I'm working on it's kind of like an art nouveau um, styled painting, but I would like to do it for Venti and Zhongli and hopefully in the future for the rest of the art cons and I'm working on a 11 by 17 paper. So they're gonna be fairly large um, The reason why I'm going like a lot larger is mostly because I want to do a lot of detailed work. I haven't done like detailed line work before watercoloring since probably university like my fourth year of painting because i did a lot of like um patterning and like flowers and foliage and stuff and i did a lot of like kind of like graphic lines almost but i did it all with like a brush and these kind of um liquid watercolors that are fairly permanent um mm, permanent why I say permanent. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, I definitely had the most patience with working on Kaya's. And I think it's because I did this on like the night before I did officials, Zhongli, and Barbara's. So a little bit about my team. And I feel like some people will question why I, my team is formed the way it is. So for the reason why I use Kaya is because... I was one of those people who, when they did their first free 10 rolls, I think, before, like during the first few weeks of Genshin on Venti's banner, I actually got only two four star weapons, I believe, and no new characters. So, slowly leveling up, I was stuck with the characters given to you, which is just the Traveler, or in this case, Lumine. Lumine and. Then you get Amber, Kaya, and Lisa. So that was pretty much my team for the most part was um, the Traveler, Kaya, Amber, and Lisa. But um, after summoning almost immediately after getting those three, I got Fischl. So instead of using Lisa, I decided to replace her with Fischl. So I decided that my team would be in first slot anyways, would be Kaya. Second slot is Amber, third slot is the Traveler, and fourth slot is... Hmm? Wait, no. I got, that. I got this backwards. So the, the order that I'm doing the portraits is actually the order that I have them listed in my party. So I have Kaya first and then Fischl and then Traveler at the time. And then I had Amber in the last slot at the time. And that was my team for like a fairly long time. I think the more I summoned, I got... Hmm another official i think i made my brother roll for me because i thought he would have better luck than i would and um at the time he couldn't play genshin impact because um his phone wouldn't let him play it his laptop wouldn't let him like let him play it because he had an intel um processor i believe and that had issues or yeah i think that had problems and then he finally played after i went to ar 17 or ar 16. Mm. But, but he got venti. He got venti within his two tendrils, which was interesting and a little baffling for me because um, I really wanted venti. 
So a little bit about the water coloring process. As you can see, I'm using white gouache here. I don't think I'm going to remember to put this in the video, but yeah, I'm using white gouache here and I'm doing a technique that I haven't done in a long time because I actually didn't realize I could do this with gouache. I've done this a lot in my acrylic paintings in the past and that's taking a dry brush and fairly not too wet of paint but you're basically just scrubbing on the paint onto the surface and it's good to use a not precious like not your favorite brush most likely you're going to be using a brush that you do not use that much anymore because maybe it's old or like you know the bristles are fraying anything that's you don't mind kind of like beating the crap out of it because um, you're literally like scrubbing out the page and pushing the bristles in and kind of just like really just brushing on that pigment. But I found it that it's a good way to add kind of like a glowing effect on top as long as your paint is not wet, not too wet I mean, and your brush has to be dry. Like um, make sure not to clean or wet your brush until you're done the entire um, dry brushing session um so yeah so next is fischl so she is still on my team and as you can see kaya stayed on my team since from pretty much day one um because i had crap rolls in the beginning so fischl came home fairly early but not early enough um i guess for me but yeah she's currently still on my team and i amazing like mainly use her as a support so basically she's just there to like sometimes i need her to use like her arrows but mostly i'm using her for to summon oz so we can super conduct with kaya and yeah so kaya is kind of like my main dps i'm still working on a dps barbara she does more damage than kaya but kaya does a more consistent damage and i like playing as a sword user so that's kind of the reason why so yeah kaya fills my first slot so i tend to adventure around in the overworld and everything like just the main world opening chests like fighting stuff everything climbing gliding everything is pretty much just i'm using kaya um for the most part and then i have fischl and then in my third slot before would be technically the traveler but I think later on, I actually got Barba before AR, I think it's, is it 20 that you actually get her for free? But I got her before then and it kind of made me mad that all the characters that I did get are actually the free characters. So the characters that I got on the banner, on Venti's banner, like in total, that were new characters was... Um, Fischl, who you got during that one event, like the meteor event, that whatever event that is, when you complete it, you get Fischl. And then Barbara, you get after AR20, I think. And then Shangling, you get after Spiral Abyss Floor 3, I believe. So all three of those characters I could technically get for free, but I did get them during summoning. And for the most part, that used to be my team as well. So after I replaced um but after getting barbara i replaced the um the traveler so my team at the time was kaya fischl amber and then barbara and then after i got shungling i replaced amber um just because shungling does a lot more damage and i don't really like playing as arrow users like bow users as much. I like using them for support or using like their E and their Q, but I'm not too fond of using their arrows in general unless it's just like mass shooting of like anything that's like an enemy in the air or something. I find it a little bit more effective, but I do enjoy using Catalyst more. So yeah. Um, so that was my team for quite a while. And then, yeah, that team really didn't budge. So for me, I always change in and out my third slot. It's just because muscle memory that if I need to heal, or if I want to do more damage, I will be able to click Barbara easily because she's at the very bottom. And then I can easily switch to Kaya because he's at the very top. And I usually don't touch the third slot that much. So that is the character I tend to switch in and out. So after Shangling, 
I believe I didn't get anyone technically that I really liked for my team until Zhongli's banner. So I did try summoning for child at the time. And I summoned on Klee's banner because I really want a Klee. I really, 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 really want a Klee. Um, sadly, I did not get her. Um, I think for the most part, I had pretty good luck getting four stars. But the five stars, um, I do need to get my pity. And that's the reason why I do get five stars. So in total, I believe I only have like... I have three five stars. So I have Mona, who is the one who pity broke me during, I believe, Child's Banner. So that's who I got um, during my 70 to 80 rolls, I believe. And then after that, I was pretty much guaranteed for Zhongli's Banner. So I did summon a little bit after I got Mona on Child's Banner just to build up my pity. And then um, I got Zhongli and I got Xinyan. So I thought I was going to use Xinyan the most on my team for that third slot to replace Shangling. And I guess I was wrong. I do use her a lot during Dragon Spine just because it's much easier to explore Dragon Spine if you have a Pyro user. So I do use her a lot and I like playing as Xinyan quite a bit and she's a really hard hitter. I just need to build her artifacts a little bit more correctly so that I can make her. Uh, more efficient, I guess. Claymore users aren't my favorite to use, but I do prefer them over bows. So I don't mind playing as a Claymore user. Um, what else? Okay, so what I was talking about before is that um, I actually use Zhongli in my main team. So I wasn't really expecting this. I wanted Zhongli just because like, I like him as a character a lot, visually, and like he's kind of... <laughs> His character is a little wacky just because he's kind of like a dork, but he's also serious. He has a very attractive voice. Um, I don't know. It's like, there's a lot of things going for him, which I really like. But um, so I just liked him as a character. I didn't know how I would like playing as him, but I built him in a way that um, is very effective on my team just because like at the time, I would build his shield really high. I think he had 27k HP, so his shield was pretty good. And for the most part, I'd be using his shield so that I could safely switch in um, Fischl and Barbara in and out. Because um, it's just easier to do so without worrying about getting hit and stuff. Just because I don't want to get interrupted when I'm always using Barbara's charged attack to deal damage. So... Yeah, my brain's just like, it's scattered as usual. Every time I do like a longer voice recording, I feel like my brain is super scattered. So I do apologize if like, you're not interested in this Genshin talk. I'll talk a little bit more about the process like right now. Um, as you can see, I finished official. I did add for all the portraits, these little flowers around their necks and their shoulders just for a little bit of added, um, kind of like a special thing saying like welcome to my team kind of thing because i really like flowers and plants and stuff so after i finished painting the figure i decided to remove the binder clips from the top and remove the tape from the side so i can paint the background so luckily this paper is quite thick so it doesn't warp too too much but i decided to clip near where the hair cuts off so i could make sure it dries still like in a flat way and then now I'm adding a little bit of gouache. Now I forgot to do this for the rest of the portraits. I didn't do it for Fischl, Zhongli, or Barbara, but um, for Kaya's, I added a white stroke around his, like around the figure, and it looks nice, but I forgot to do it for the rest. And I'm not too disappointed not using it, but yeah, so that is Fischl's little mini portrait. Um, yeah, I'm just really going ham with that dry brushing. I really like making the glowing effects this way and I think it's kind of cute. In terms of her back like the background color, I tried to match their in-game backgrounds when you click on their profiles. So we have Kaya's and we have Fischl finished. Um, I believe on Barbara's, you can really see the dry brushing come to life because of the contrast of the background and the white. It looks really pretty. Okay, I, I apologize for butchering this beautiful face. I don't. I didn't sketch him that properly. Now looking at the sketch, he's actually cross-eyed. I don't know why. And he looks more baby-faced, I guess. I feel like I just struggle drawing like more handsome 
be shown in males. Um, yeah. I feel like I always draw more cuter males, but like, I apologize that I butcher Zhongli terribly. So the problem with this one is that I butchered his eyes, but also I don't know if it was because I was getting more and more sleepy throughout the day that I was using this brush with a lot of water to do the line work. So the line work looks really thick compared to Kaya's and Fischl's. And it makes me regret it so much. Not only that, I should have done the red under his eyes after I've done the line art for his eyes. Because right now they kind of look like raccoon eyes. And for Zhongli, it's really not like raccoon eyes. It's actually mostly on the corner of his eyes. Like the outside corners and not too much underneath. So I think I went a little bit too dark. But as you can see, like a lot of my washes that I'm using for Zhongli compared to Kaya's especially like I did use a little bit too much water when working on um Fischl's but yeah Zhongli and Barbara I used a lot of water which isn't bad it's great for like mixing colors and making sure that things look like they're flowing and blending nicely but if you're trying to get crisp clean edges which is what I really enjoy usually in watercolor um it doesn't really work out that well so a lot of this just looks like a jumbled mess in my opinion um, but yeah, I don't know. Looking at, looking at this footage makes me sad. I also butchered the shape of his hair. It's a, it's a odd oval. Like, it has, like, a weird amount of volume on his left and right side, but not enough at the top in comparison. Like, I could have, you know, shoved it a little bit so that it's less mushroomy-ish. Yeah, hmm, his eyes... This, just watch me butcher these. Um, but back to more Genshin talk. Ah, I just hate the eyes. I don't know why. Uh, I, a part of it's like the sketch wasn't that great. Because I feel like for Zhongli and Barbara's sketches. Um, Barbara I liked a little bit more than Zhongli's. But overall I didn't like either of them as much as Fischl's and Kaya's. And I feel like it has to do with me not being able to draw Zhongli in general. I draw like I draw him very weirdly. And I don't know why. Like I don't know I struggle to draw him a lot. And I feel like for me I used to draw Barbara actually quite a bit. But I feel like I've drawn Kaya a lot more. I don't know. I think I've done a lot more like concept sketches for Kaya related things just because his design's kind of like engraved into my brain. Oh, weird off topic, but kind of on topic thing. I've been browsing on Twitter a lot more recently as I shouldn't be, but that's what I've been doing a lot recently. And I feel like this confirms it for me. Kaya doesn't have a ponytail, right? That that long strand of hair that I thought was pretty nice looking. It's a rat tail, isn't it? <laughs> I saw it in the like the Genshin Impact manga before. I've seen it in his in-game model, and I was always unsure whether or not that piece of hair, that long lock of hair that comes down on his I guess technically it's his left side. If we're facing him, it's his right side. But his left side, um, it's a rat tail. <laughs> I think it's a rat tail. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just for me, it was very confusing because I'd seen people draw him with like a ponytail and like that's how I wanted to draw him. But like looking at his in-game model, it's very vague whether or not it's attached or not. And it's similar in the manga where it's like you see he has hair back there, but it's not tied, is it? Like you can see kind of like this little bunch. Oh, look at Zhongli. <laughs> he looks so out of place. Ugh, okay. So for Barbara's, once they start lining the eyes, similarly to Zhongli's is when Barbara's portrait takes a bad turn. Everything else up until that point actually looked really good. So I had a good feeling about painting Barbara, then I butcher it terribly. I don't know why, but yeah, my brain, where was I talking about? Kaya's rat tail. 
Before that, I was talking about my Genshin team. Right, talking about Zhongli. So when I got Zhongli, I didn't think I was going to use him for my team, but then I started to build him as a Geo support character. And initially, I liked using him so that I could just build shields because it's just... I could play a little bit more recklessly, which is bad, but it's just nice because like he you can get those shields, he makes crystals and like crystallizes and stuff, and it just makes more shields and stuff, and you just have you can just hit more without worrying about getting damaged, right? And and he's like he makes mining a lot easier, so he's definitely on my main team for two reasons, similar to Kaya. Kaya is just for me, like I like playing around as Kaya as well as like I believe he helps with stamina consumption so he like lowers the amount of stamina being used um when he's on your team and then for Zhongli is that when you're mining for like ore or for like um I guess like crystals minerals silver whatever if you just use his E he just mines everything <laughs> and this is wonderful I love it this is much easier especially when you find those clusters of like minerals and stuff Okay, so the other thing I was talking about was that, yeah, so I was building him so that you could use his shield more, and he had more attack at the time, but I started to build him a little bit differently now. Um, so I swapped his set to be Archaea Petra, I think, and the Noblesse set, and I want him to pretty much just keep shooting out meteors every time. <laughs> so I think I tested this out with my brother, and we went to a domain, the one with like three abyss mages as the domain. I don't remember. Is this? I think it's for the noblesse set and the bloodstained chivalry. I think is what the domain has in stored in there. And he could pop out a meteor. I think four times by the time we finish the domain. And I don't know if it's because me and my brother are like slow. I don't think we are that slow. But um his energy recharge and just like his cooldown and stuff is just really fast and um he often crits because i have him at a pretty high crit rate and his crit damage is pretty good well mm, his crit damage is okay it's still below 75 percent but it's still okay so at least it's still above half um but yeah, he can pretty much just crap out meteors quite often, which is kind of nice. Which I had to sacrifice his attack a little bit and his HP. But that's okay, because he has a different purpose, <laughs> I guess. But later on when they have the 1.3 update, um, a lot of things are going to be scaled differently, I believe. So that's going to be fun. And he's going to become more of a... I don't know, he's still probably going to be support for me, regardless of the update. But it's just nice that I think they're scaling his attack with his HP or something. I don't remember I don't really remember what it was, but that's exciting. So on to this little angel that I'm butchering. Um so Barbara. So I think Barbara and like she's probably my favorite character in Genshin Impact, just in general. I love how cheery and cute she is. And then she's a healer, but also you can make her into a wonderful DPS. So my DPS Barbara isn't that great, but it's definitely doing more damage. So she does about only, I think, 3,000 to 6,000 per charge attack, which isn't super high at all. But I'm slowly building her up so that she will have higher crit damage at a higher rate so that she can always hit really hard. Um, but on good days, she's dealing like anywhere between 21 to 29k as long as she's paired up with a person who is a pyro which is why i have shenyan um usually um on my main team if it wasn't for zhongli but yeah I would, like, I, I would really love to have Bennett, to be honest, but so far my luck on the banner has been a little bit weird. I actually haven't updated you, you guys on my recent Genshin Impact info. I've been just rambling about like random Genshin and stuff, like Genshin Impact stuff, and my brain's scattered, my words are slurring, and everything. Um, but for Albedo's. Albedo? Albedo. Albedo's banner. I wasn't really planning on summoning on his banner all too much. I only wanted to summon on his banner so that I could get um, Fischl and Sucrose's constellations. So 
the only reason why I summon more is just kind of like in a spiteful way. So my brother summoned on his banner, the general banner first, um, which was... So he summoned on the general banner and he immediately, it was gold. Like the, that it was a yellow gold thing for a 10 shot. And I was like, oh, okay, he's going to get D-Luke or something, right? And, um, well, actually initially I thought he did a one shot. I saw the gold and I thought he did a one shot and I saw a weapon. So I started laughing, which is probably the start of my bad luck. Um, but yeah. It was gold, it was, he did a 10 shot, and the first 5 star that he got, and that's what I'm saying, the first one he got was Chi Chi, which I was definitely like envious because I love Chi Chi as a character, and it would be wonderful to have her as like an option to play. She's a cryo sword user, she's also a healer, she's super cute, she's tiny, I love her. Um, but then... Little did I know, he actually did get Diluke on the same roll. So he got two five stars on that general banner. Just that normal banner. And then... Yeah, I think he summoned on the... Normal banner. I don't believe he got anyone else that I am aware of. But, um... Yeah, he just had tremendous luck. Which I was very... Confuzzled about. But he told me that... I should summon, so I summoned on the general banner. I didn't get a five star, I believe. I only, I got Chong Yun though. Oh, I guess I'll talk about this in another video, I guess. I didn't realize that we were at the end of the video, so I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!